In the wilds of rural Texas, a giant healer monster is on the loose. A group of characters intend to put a stop to it, including the local sheriff, who, in the tradition of authority figures in these kinds of films, is the kind of person who would probably lose a chess match to a lizard. They want the healer monster stopped before it destroys Toy Town. Time for Trumpton. How and why the healer monster got that big is something that's never addressed. Just a minute. That is not a healer monster. That is a Mexican beaded lizard. That's right, Professor Woofkins. Exactly why they used a Mexican beaded lizard rather than a real healer monster is something that's lost in the mists of time. Perhaps the filmmakers couldn't tell the difference, or maybe the beaded lizards just had a better union, who knows. Using real lizards and other such animals in these kinds of films is always beset with problems. They don't follow the script, they tend to fall asleep under the heat from the studio lights. For example, the lizard in One Million Years BC had to be more or less operated like a glove puppet by its handler, whilst the tarantula in the same film just sat there doing nothing, not even presenting it with a cricket would make it move. Uh, it's a tarantula. It's not going to perform for a fish like a seal. Perhaps the limited motivation you can get from a real lizard is why this film tends to recycle the same clips, and the bulk of the movie seems to be about teenage drag racers, people sitting around for ages on end waffling on about absolutely nothing, and the occasional song, because monster movie musicals are all the rage. Uh, apparently. Remember always when I'm gone, check your zip when you've been to the job. Deeper in the darkness you were.